हेलो एवरी वन आई एम दत्तात्रय निकम वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन अवर चैनल ई फंडा फॉर न्यू डे न्यू टॉपिक एंड अवर टूडे टॉपिक इज क्लीन एनर्जी हाइड्रोजन पार्ट एटीन ई एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू अवर चैनल देन प्लीज विजिट टू अवर चैनल ई फंडा एंड वॉच ऑल द वीडियोज क्रिएटेड रिलेटेड वेरियस टॉपिक्स ऑफ फंडामेंटल्स इंजीनियरिंग प्रोजेक्ट एंड करियर इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एंड कंट्रोल इंजीनियरिंग टेलीकम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग प्रोक्यूरमेंट इंजीनियरिंग renewable energy and many more and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel e funda so let's begin with our today's topic that is a clean energy hydrogen part 18e most popular renewable energy sources a renewable energy source means energy that is sustainable that is something that can't run out or is endless like the sun when you hear something like term called alternative energy it usually referring to the renewable energy sources too it means sources of the energy that are alternative to most commonly used non sustainable sources like coal one can refer to the picture where one can see the various types of renewable energy sources like, like solar energy wind energy geothermal energy hydrogen energy tidal energy wave energy hydroelectricity nuclear power biomass energy etc now most importantly one question that is what is zero carbon or low carbon energy a nuclear generated electricity isn't renewable but it's a zero carbon which means its generation emits low level or almost no co2 just like renewable energy sources nuclear energy has a stable source which means it's not dependent on the weather and will play a big part in getting net zero status clean energy hydrogen hydrogen is the simplest element on the earth and it is the first element on a periodic table consisting of one proton and one electron one can refer to the picture where one can see the definition of a hydrogen that is a non metal the lightest element on earth it is also the most plentiful element in the universe despite its abundance however the hydrogen doesn't normally combine with itself to form hydrogen gas instead it is normally found in into the water that is h2o like ammonia gas nh3 or hydrocarbon such as a natural gas and the petroleum products it is also an extremely versatile fuel it is also the source of fuel that is used to produce hydrogen molecule classifying the type of hydrogen mainly are green hydrogen blue hydrogen gray hydrogen and many other types are also available hydrogen is often considered the fuel for the future as it is a clean and versatile energy source that can be used to power everything from cars to factories however not all types of hydrogen is created equal there are three main types of hydrogens mainly green blue and gray each type of hydrogen is produced in a different way and has its own unique characteristics one can refer to the production process where renewable energy is generated in the form of electrical then electrolysis hydrogen which gives you hydrogen then hydrogen storage then hydrogen charging stations where one can have the opportunity to have the hydrogenation fcvs where the electrical energies are required and further it is gone to the residential spaces where the electrical energy is required hydrogen cycle and a process is driven by the method of the renewable energy electrolysis hydrogen hydrogen storage hydrogen charging station fc evs and residential spaces which we have just seen moving on to the topic of bevs versus fcvs one can refer to the picture where it's available from prescotter bevs versus fcvs how do they compare one can see the comparison which we'll see the later now moving on to bevs battery electric vehicle and all electric vehicle is powered exclusively by a battery operated electric motor 
which is charged via power grid that it does not require any fossil fuel this means that locally vehicle is 100% emission free bvs stand for battery electric vehicles fcvs fuel cell electric vehicle a fuel cell vehicle that is fcv is an electric car that uses fuel cell sometimes in a combination with a small battery or a super capacitor or to power its onboard electric motor most fuel cell vehicles are classified as a zero emission vehicle that emit only water and heat fcvs mainly rely solely on a electric motor but like bvs electricity is generated from hydrogen fuel cells rather than the batteries hydrogen fuel cells generates electricity by combining hydrogen with oxygen like the bvs fcvs is 100% emission free locally now to the comparison one can see the charging and refueling time safety cost saving and well to wheel emission that is emission of a co2 one can see the comparison how it is getting benefited the issues with hydrogen production even though the combustion of hydrogen fuel is carbon free the production of hydrogen is not necessarily so the term gray blue and green hydrogen used to describe the level of the carbon emission into the production of the hydrogen gases one can refer to the picture where green hydrogen blue hydrogen and green hydrogen is shown where for the gray co emitted while reforming fossil fuel as a natural gas blue hydrogen capturing and storing co2 green hydrogen net zero emission of a co2 that is the ultimate goal one can refer to the other picture where one can see the production cycle where reformed hydrogen by the use of a natural gas and h2o that is reforming h2 and co2 are getting separated by product hydrogen where petroleum coke naphtha are used in the chemical process where h2 and the target substances are received electrolysis hydrogen where the renewable energy electrolysis process is done and then h2 and o2 are getting separated gray hydrogen produced from fossil fuel gray hydrogen is a hydrogen produced using fossil fuel such as natural gas or coal gray hydrogen accounts for roughly 95% of the hydrogen produced in the world today the two main production methods are steam methane reforming and coal gasification so both of these processes releases carbon dioxide that is co2 and if the carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere then the hydrogen produced is referred to as a gray hydrogen and gray hydrogen is not consider a low carbon fuel blue hydrogen steam reforming and carbon capture and storage blue hydrogen is similar to gray hydrogen except that most of the co2 emission are sequestered stored into the ground area where by using carbon capture and storage that is ccs capturing and storing the carbon dioxide instead of releasing it into the atmosphere allows blue hydrogen to be a low carbon fuel the two main production methods are steam methane reforming and coal gasification both with carbon capture and storage blue hydrogen is a cleaner alternative to gray hydrogen but it is expensive since carbon capture technology is being used green hydrogen renewable energies and zero emission green hydrogen is hydrogen produced using electricity from clean energy sources green hydrogen is considered low or zero emission hydrogen because it uses energy sources such as wind and solar which don't release greenhouse gases when generating electricity secondly green hydrogen is made when the water that is h2o is split into hydrogen that is h2 and oxygen that is o2 water splitting is also known as electrolysis and it requires an energy input the method of supplying electricity to split water is an expensive process but much more environmentally friendly compared to the production of a gray hydrogen
after seeing the renewable energy sources production of the hydrogen process bevs versus fcevs then the issues with the hydrogen production now we have reached to the uses of hydrogen the now and the future the now 95% of hydrogen is being used in oil and ammonia production one can refer to the picture sources wha international the current hydrogen is used to center around the industrial stage particularly oil refining and ammonia methanol production for fertilizers oil refining hydrogen is an important feedstock in hydro cracking process that is the conversion of heavy gas oil and residues into lighter distillates like diesel gasoline and jet fuel ammonia production that is hydrogen is a key material in ammonia production which in turns is an important component in fertilizing manufacturing one can refer to the picture where petroleum refining is 25% ammonia production percentage is 55 and methanol production is 10% and other sources are 10% this is how the global hydrogen consumption is specified in terms of the industry and this is how today we have tried to cover clean energy hydrogen with their aspects with their details and benefits of the hydrogen as part of e funda channel we are introducing e funda channel membership welcoming you all be a part of a e funda channel community click join button to join this community and we have membership options are e funda basic e funda standard e funda premium one can click on a join button and get the details of these three membership options and get benefited from our membership be a part of e funda channel community and thanks for joining this community and supporting e funda team and encouraging them to create more and more valuable and technical videos for our subscribers and members with this we are concluding on our today's topic and you can find our channel details as follows if you are new to our channel that is our youtube channel e funda then subscribe to our channel e funda and don't forget to press bell icon to get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel e funda similarly you can follow us on instagram page similarly you can follow us on our facebook page as well and keep watching our channel e funda for various topic related to engineering and a project with this we can assure you this will help you to better your understanding on engineering and a project topic keep watching our channel e funda thanks watch our channel for new day new topic